Hey everybody, welcome back. Well today I'm doing a get ready with me and it's going to be some new summer makeup and I will also be sharing an outfit of the day at the end so stay tuned for that. This video is in collaboration with Nordstrom so thank you so much Nordstrom for sponsoring this video and I know you guys love get ready with me videos. I get those all the time for requests to do because it's just a fun chit chat show you maybe what's going on new with the makeup. I do have some new products to share, like I said. And I'm gonna start today with the Tom Ford Stick Foundation because I've spoken about this, but I have never showed how I apply it or what it looks like on. This is a great foundation I love for the summer. I took this with us on our recent um, beach trip. It's just great for quick application, but it looks so pretty on the skin. Um, I have it in the color 4.5. They do have a pretty good shade range and it's just so easy to put on. What I like too is it's buildable. So for instance, I can have like a light coverage real quick or I can build it up. Um, you can take it right out of the stick. I just love stick foundations. <laughs> like I said, they're just so easy. You can put it right on the skin, but what I like to do is take a flat top brush and basically that way I can just build it up. So I will just take the foundation on the brush and put it, you know, wherever I need it. And that way I can see, okay, do I need a little more in that area, a little less? Again, this was perfect for any kind of little trip or if you are needing to get ready in a hurry or, you know, not wanting to wear a lot of makeup. Um, I can't remember when I spoke about this, but I know not long after I got it, um, it may have even made it into my best foundations of last year. And I just think it applies really easily too. And I'll show you um, how I set it. So if your skin's a little more combination or oily, uh, you definitely will need to set this. I like to set all my foundations anyway, and especially in the summer. Um, I know some people kind of shy away from powder in the summer, but I don't know. I like to set my makeup and I like powder because I feel like that keeps it from sliding all over your face in the heat, the humidity. And each time I'm going on here, I'm just like barely dabbing it just so I can get a little bit. Because like I said, what I like about this is you can build it up. So it's very nice coverage, but you can see it just gives like a really nice glow. We'll take the excess usually and like put it over my eyelids, but I'll add some concealer here in a second. We've talked about this before, but I have a hard time doing my makeup and chit chatting. Like I'll end up telling you kind of what I'm doing for the makeup, but <laughs> not anything else. I don't know why. So again, this was um, a Sigma flat top brush. I also really love um, the Artiste brush. I've spoken about that. This is my newest one. so. I actually have two now um, because I use that a lot. I'm actually doing a post on some summer makeup favorites and just foundations, things like that, that kind of stay in place. So uh, stay tuned for that. It'll probably be next week. So I'm just gonna add some lip balm. You guys know this is um, my favorite. I talk about this all the time. They always have great sets with this one. I'm gonna use the Hourglass Concealer. Um, if I'm feeling extra dry under my eyes, I like to use this. And it has really good coverage. A little goes a long way. And I always take concealer like up on my eyelid and then when I powder it kind of acts like a, a primer so that my mascara and things like that don't transfer up there. All right, so for powder, I have two favorites. For this foundation, I like the Laura, Laura Mercier. For other foundations, I tend, especially if they're like a little more full coverage, I will use the Hourglass. Love both of these. Today, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier. Again, it just really depends what foundation I am doing, but be sure to check out, um, I'll let you know on Instagram too, when that post goes up, because I kind of put the combinations of foundations and powders and things like that that I like. All right, now for my favorite part, I have been totally in to bronze skin. I know a lot of us are in the summertime, but it's just, I don't know, there's something about using a lot of bronzer, I love it. So this is a new product to me and I'm absolutely loving it. This is the new Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. There are four shades. I have it in the medium shade. I would say if you are darker skin toned than me, I would go up one and then there's a deeper one as well. The light one I feel like is too light. 
So it looks like this, really pretty. You could use this like all over too as kind of like a finishing powder. It's a really pretty bronzer. What I've been doing, I'm still using the same brush. I've been taking bronzer on the edge of my brush. So I'll tap it in like that. And then I just kind of start lightly putting it like that. Not, I wouldn't really say contour, but maybe a little, but you'll see what I mean here. And then I just start bringing it up outer edges of my face just to get it nice and bronze. It will get in my hair a little bit, but I can always get that out or wear it down. Especially when you're blonde, it kinda, it's hard to get makeup not in your hair. I always take a little right here because I find that's where I'm a little pale. And then always, always like on my nose cause that's where the sun would hit. And I've been putting it a little bit like on uh, the top of my brow bone. And I feel like if I need more, I do more, but just really nice and bronzy. I love that. And this is so pretty. I just really like this bronzer a lot. And I mean, look how big it is compared to my hands. So you get a lot of product. Highlight as usual, another uh, Charlotte Tilbury love the highlight from here. I will use this bronzer um, more in the winter. Just, you know, on the tops of the cheeks. Nice and glowy, a little down the nose. All right, another new product for summer that I've been loving is this Blush Trio from Anastasia. So pretty. Um, I believe they do have another color combination. You could either, I have swiped all of these together, but um, most recently I've been using this one on the end. Love that. I don't know, that just like screams summer to me, like summer bright pops of blush. All right, I did my brows off camera because it just takes too long. I'll list what I used in the description box box below along with everything else that I am talking about. Um, I've really been into a couple of different eyeshadows. One being this cream eyeshadow. This one's from Chanel. And I just love the pretty like simple bronzy color. Another thing, and I might end up um, incorporating both of these together but another palette I've really been liking for summer is the Urban Decay this is um, the Naked Reloaded it just has a lot of pretty summery colors but I'm gonna start with this cream shadow because again if I'm not talking like all this is pretty quick and easy and just gives you like a really nice fresh like summer look Charlotte Tilbury makes some really good um, cream shadows too that I wear. I was actually wearing that in my um, my beach vacation outfit video. Um, I think one or two of you said something about my eye makeup. I had on um, her cream shadow in that video. And I'm just really just putting this kind of all over most of the lid. And I like because I don't have to be super precise because the whole point, you know, is just give you that bronzy, uh, lived in summer look. I go up a little bit higher just so you can see it. My eyes are open. Really like that. You could totally stop there and just use that color, which I often do. I think I'm just going to deepen it up a little bit today, though, for the sake of you know, being on camera. So I'm gonna use um, one of these brown, the distilled, and just kind of pop it here on the outer corner. And I'm just gonna blend them out, blend this out with it. And then just on a flat brush, I just usually take these two colors together, and I'll write these again down below and put them underneath here. I've said before, I'm somebody who has to kind of have something on that lower lash line or it just looks strange. <laughs> like I need that down there. I think my blush is as harsh as it maybe is looking here with the lighting, but again, the lighting is making it a little strange, but so I'm going to curl my lashes and do the rest of my eye makeup. 
All right, finished up with my eyes. Again, like I said, you could just stop at this and it just makes a really pretty simple eye. I actually really like that a lot, just the cream shadow and some mascara. But I just wanted to deepen it up and play a little bit today. So as far as lips, this is what I do. I have, I'm somebody I have to have something on my lips all the time. It will drive me crazy. I'll lick them, they'll get dry. So I have a couple products. I told you I always start with a lip balm. So I use one of two lip balms and then just a lip liner. And what the lip liner does, and I've been doing this for a long time, but it's especially good in the summer and just to keep it on. It's more like a lip stain, but then sometimes I'll put like this over and sometimes I'll just wear this around the house. I absolutely love these, you guys know. This is the one that kind of stays um, with my makeup. It's uh, a lighter color. And then I have one that stays in my purse. It's more of like a nude color. Um, I can't remember the exact names or if they even have names, maybe just numbers. But again, this is good about just keeping my lips moisturized since I haven't been wearing a lot of lipstick. But again, I like, I feel like my makeup's not done. Even if I just have mascara and bronzer on, I have to have something on my lips. So I've really been enjoying wearing um, Laura Mercier one. And then I also like the Charlotte Tilbury one. Today I'm gonna wear the Laura, Laura Mercier. And since I already have that lip balm, it goes on really nice. I kind of overdraw a little bit on this side because it's a little uneven. And then once I just get the outline, I just literally fill them in like I would with lipstick. And I just love that. Again, I've been doing that for a long time. But I find um, if I like a lip liner color, I just want my lips to be that color. So this is the lip liner. Again, my lips still feel moisturized because of that balm, but if you didn't want to start out with that, or again, later on, maybe it wore off, or you just want a balm without the lip liner, these are fantastic. Again, I love these. This just gives like a little bit of gloss to it. But they're so hydrating. I just absolutely love them. And I, I just love the tube. You can just squeeze a little bit up and put it on. But again, I'll just wear this around the house because I love the feeling of it. And then I will just blot off um, some excess. But that way I have color. It's not smearing around my face or anything. But my makeup, I don't know, it just feels done. And then I'm not messing with my lips. Again, because I'm just somebody who has to have some color on. All right, so there is the makeup look. I'm going to do my hair a little bit. And let's go pick out the outfit. All right, so we're in my closet. And these are the two dresses that I was contemplating today. Both just easy summer maxi dresses. This one's like a nice knit material. It actually comes in a few other colors. Um, and they often have restocks. I know this one keeps going in and out of stock, so just check back, but you can just tell it's like a nice lightweight and it does have adjustable straps. I think today I'm feeling this one. Um, I had actually shared this one in the white color for my um, summer dresses or white dresses, I think. It's just, just really pretty maxi. Again, um, it is lined and it comes in another color. I believe three colors all together and it runs true to size. And then this is my favorite uh, strapless bra that I have talked about for years. It's just really, really lightweight and I, it's just easy to wear with summer dresses and I'm gonna be wearing these sandals. I just can't get enough of them. You guys know I love these, they're my favorite, and they just kinda of go with everything. I feel like even summer dresses, it kinda of makes a dress maybe look more casual too. All right, so here is the dress on. You guys, this is just such a pretty easy dress to wear. It has elastic waist. You could totally throw on a belt with this if you wanted to like dress it up a little. Sorry you're seeing the blinds come through <laughs> the sun, but isn't it just so pretty and just easy? I love the way it moves. I'm 5'5 five five and it is a perfect length on me. If you're a little bit shorter, you could wear it with a wedge, but see what I mean about just pairing it with a simple um, sandal? It just looks so easy that way. It's just really pretty. And the color is um, really pretty too. It's like a corally pink kind of, and it just has one button closure at the neck, so it's easy to get off and on. Here's a good, um, this is what the color looks like. I'm just a sucker for all these dresses with like the tiered, you know, ruffle somewhere on them this year. And the elastic waist makes it like really super comfortable too. And then accessories, I just have on some gold hoops, 
bangles, um, some Kendra Scott. I love this ring. This has like been one of my favorites. Here's a closer look um, at the makeup. I had to stand in front of the window so you could kind of see what it looked like. So I know in my room it was like a little bit dark. Everything I spoke about will be listed in the description box below. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I really appreciate it. If you're not yet subscribed, please do so. I make new videos all the time. I hope you guys liked the get ready with me combo of the summer makeup with the outfit. Leave me a comment below if you want to see more videos like this. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.